Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the JSON data type introduced in Oracle Database 21C. This new data type is an Oracle optimized binary JSON format called OSON. It's designed for faster query and DML performance. The Oracle Database has provided support for JSON since Oracle 12.1. Many of the examples here use existing database functionality that's been updated to support the new JSON data type. If you need more information about JSON support in the Oracle database, check out the playlist linked in the description. We create a new table called T1. The JSON data column is defined as being type JSON. The JSON constructor is used to create a new instance of a JSON data type. Here we have three variables of different types, varchar2, clob and blob. We populate the variables with JSON data. Notice we have to cast the data to raw to populate the blob. We then insert the data into our table using the JSON constructor. The JSON constructor has overloads for a number of data types that can hold JSON data. Remember, the data is binary, so when we query the JSON column, the output is not very meaningful. The JSON serialize function converts JSON from any supported data type into text. So that's a simple way to display the data. Many of the SQL JSON functions from previous releases have been updated to support the new JSON data type. In this example, we use the JSON value and JSON query functions. We also use dot notation to return a value, but it's binary, so we have to use JSON serialize to view the data. In this example, we use the JSON table function to project columns onto the JSON data. We reference the column holding the JSON data, the search path in the document, then we project the columns onto the data. We define each column along with its data type and search path. This allows us to query the JSON data as if it were relational data. The JSON scalar function creates an instance of a JSON type from an SQL scalar value. Here we use it to create instances of number, string and date data. We use JSON serialize to display the contents of the JSON instances we created. The PLSQL object types for JSON have been updated to support the new JSON data type. In this example, we have two variables. One is of type JSON, the other is of type JSON object T. We populate the JSON variable from a row in our table. Then use the JSON object T constructor to create a new instance based on the JSON variable. At this point, we'd do some processing of the data in the JSON object T variable. Once complete, we convert the data back to a JSON type using the toJSON member function of the JSON object T variable. If you're already working with JSON in the Oracle database, this will feel very familiar. In the past, we would have used types such as varchar2, clob, or blob to store JSON data. From Oracle 21C onward, we should switch to using the JSON data type where possible. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.